Okay, so I've finally updated the site. <clears throat> Something I intended to do when I literally did the new site design, but we finally did some things to the top of the site. So obviously I wanted to have an all encompassing site that included everything that we've got going on. And so, you know, now I've got a preview of YouTube. It's gonna be a rolling carousel like this. This used to be in the middle. Obviously these are just to the size of your browser. So some of these things that are weird sizes, these are fixed sizes. These things are like, they adjust to the size of your browser. So having a smaller or bigger monitor will affect how all of this looks. Um, I want to try and tidy this up so that everything looks like the same sort of size, but that's going to be a bit of work. And this is going to be a carousel that will do like YouTube, Twitch, the vlogs channel, like maybe show off Instagram as well. This one, maybe I'll rotate with some of the other things like as well. But this, then we got like a Twitter feed that actually shows. I wanted to kind of have it go across like this sort of thing, but it's like, yeah. Twitter doesn't allow you to do that awkwardly. So, you know, this is just like a main Twitter feed of everything that I've tweeted. And you can obviously follow the Twitter by going on that. And then obviously this link to the Interlacio Stars creator page on Steam. So, you know, we've got a few things going on. And I wanted to um, have the top section like include everything for a while rather than it just be like, oh, but the things that are literally below and literally above are just also here, you know, like I I planned on doing that for a while, but obviously life gone away and like I started feeling shit and like, you know, everything. But now that I'm up to it, I've done some quick updates and like, you know, they're the things that I'm also going to work on to make it better. And also like I've been Green Man Gaming official partner for a while and I figured, like, I don't need to be exclusive. I don't get anything out of the exclusivity. So I'm now also a Humble Partner. And, you know, I've bought Humble Bundle since the Humble Indie Bundle 2. And I've got a bit of a bundle addiction. So, you know, that's been something that I've been having for a while. But if you um click on my thing, you partner in Zendalas, you only support charity as well. Like, I'll get a small commission. Obviously, like, the bundles, they... Used to be able to just get the whole bundle for a dollar, but obviously they've changed that. So it's actually better because like it devalued games a lot, which I didn't agree with. But now, like you have to pay reasonable amounts for like it's still a bargain. It's still a huge bargain, but you have to pay like reasonable amounts to get like more than like the one item, which is again, you know, a dollar for like usually one item for the smallest tier then it's like sometimes it's beat the average sometimes it's just like an interim price and then obviously there's a main price for the whole thing and you raise a lot for charity you can adjust your donation you can adjust where your charity goes um it's supporting the wards charity because obviously fish i'm surprised it didn't support my chosen charity which it should have overridden i leave but it didn't then you can adjust your charity obviously the default gives a lot to the games creator very little to the charity one pound 51 to humble one pound 13 to me you know it's very clear and transparent how much you get with a default donation extra to charity again you know it's not actually that much extra a lot of it still goes to the game devs or, if you really, really want to support charity, <laughs> literally, you can choose if you want to go through my link and give nothing to me. You know, I'm surprised it isn't included in, like, you have to give some to the person who's referring you. Or, you can give it all if you want. Humble still gets a bit. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Like, that's not fair. Like, give a lot to the charity. Give some to the game devs. I'll take the same amount as Humble. <laughs> you know, that's that's what I would recommend. Like, you know, give give what it's whatever you want to do, really. But charity for the most part. That's extra to charity in my opinion. Giving extra to charity more than anything else is extra to charity. You know, one pound thirteen, that's kind of what they're suggesting. One pound fifty one, ha, you get one pound twenty-five. 
<laughs> extra charity thumb to the game test that's that's what i tend to do unless like you know it's a shame you can't just like humble if you're not gonna do things properly you get nothing <laughs> but yeah like that's the fair it it just like the fault that you have to give a little if you're going through my link but it's fine like you know whatever you want to do you can give whatever you want wherever you want it's very clear very transparent and they do like weekly bundles so often there's a lot of game bundles there's loads of book bundles there's software bundles which are often really really good depends on what you want to do like video production like graphics uh, doing a lot of these like loops and visual impact things <laughs> you know there's all sorts and then there's obviously humble choice which if you go 12 pc games it says last month there were 10 so you know they're lying <laughs> for eight pounds a month which again you know on classic which is more expensive hmm hmm i feel robbed <laughs> And you get Man Eater for free with your membership. I didn't know that. Oh, wait. That's just because it's in the monthly. <laughs> I hate that they lie to you like that. Free with your membership. No, it's just it's one of the things in the monthly thing. It's not you get it free as well. <sighs> Up to 12 new games. And yes. Like, I don't know. Because the choice was previously like... The um the people who have classic who paid more get all twelve and then the choice people got ten or eight. So yeah, I don't know. They changed that, in which case I feel robbed for like all the extra money that I've paid. <laughs> I'm trying to find the wait, okay. Really? You're gonna make me log in to show you that? I just want to see if it includes my actual charity bundle and includes, like, the the amount that it's meant to. <laughs> you know, how it works with, like, a fixed cost thing like that. Right, so let's just go by three or more Wonder, bu one wonder Bundles. One Bundle. Warner Brothers Bundles for up to 90% off. Let's just pick that. Okay, so they've already got some... So you need three for 83, but they're already a lot off. So, you know, what happens if you add? Obviously, it's a build your own bundle. I don't know why I'm looking this carefully. Because <laughs> I'm not going to finish the purchase. I'm just doing it to kind of show case what is in there. Okay, so that would be 85% off. 80% off. You saved £106.15. So. Plus 90% off. Did it actually reduce them from what they were? So, Lego Harry Potter. It's nice that it removes the costs. <laughs> but I'm sure that was more than a pound. And, you know, these were more than £5. So they do get reduced, which is interesting enough. And Padron with interlastio.co.uk opt out. <laughs> it doesn't show you the mixes. The coupon for £2.79 off that. It doesn't show you how much goes to charity, how much goes to bundle, how much goes to me in that instance. Which is unfortunate. Because, you know, it'd be nice to be able to see that. I, even if you don't get to customise it, I'd like you to be able to see that. And then you can obviously earn some wallet credits for referring people. But obviously, you get 15% of an annual purchase. But I think through my thing, it's actually way lower commission, just saying. <laughs> but yeah, we're partnered with Humble Bundle because obviously I've bought them for years. I've had a bundle addiction. And you can get a lot of good games pretty cheap over there. So, yeah, like, you know, a lot of the cheap games that I play, like, 
not everything tracks. I know some people have been buying things that didn't track, but some do. But, you know, it's just like pennies and pennies and pennies. But yeah, go check out Humble if you also want to support. You don't have to like subscribe to Twitch or anything to support the channel. You can go buy your Humble Bundle, give whatever you want to support me and get some great games and support charity along with it. And obviously you can adjust the donations however much you wish to donate, however much you want. So if you're buying a Humble Bundle and you want to help support me as well as charity, I appreciate anything you give through the slider and you know any other purchases you want to make if you want to join like the humble classic or anything the humble choice anything you can do to help much appreciated it's just another way you can support the channel obviously with twitch you can also subscribe you can send bits you don't have to do direct donations and you know it'll be used to improve the the sites improve the streams improve videos improve everything as well as buy games and <laughs> bundles which you know might have a problem still even though <laughs> i still buy a lot of bundles i buy less now because you know i try to stop myself buying every single bundle in the world and also like you know if i get big enough it'll pay rent it'll pay things to you know support my life and you know i'll sound tramp planning on traveling to Mexico as well so you know everything you can do to help support is very much appreciated but yeah like I finally updated the site so that it includes more of what's going on and going forward as well I should click going forward we obviously had a lot of popularity with some of the stuff that's been coming out obviously struggling was very very popular <sighs> that is coming to an end it's a very very short game sadly so you know that's coming to an end waking comes to an end in january struggling is coming to an end in january i have started doing some fling to the finish well, I already did record for a tournament, Fling to the Finish, and I recorded all of the um, the practice that we were doing up to that. So they're going live. That's like a sort of indie 3D, sort of similarish, sort of, you know, physics-y sort of game as Struggling. So that's something that I could play more of, because obviously there are adding more levels, there are loads more game things to do. So I can play that with somebody or on my own or online and that's something we could do but yeah i'm open to any sessions to any sort of games you also want to see created going forwards obviously waking was a very popular series but again that's coming to an end i've completed the game we've got all of the episodes ending in january yeah i'm absolutely open to anything anyone who subscribed would like to see so do let me know in the comments or on discord Obviously, we've got a community Discord if you want to come and join. I sometimes give away <laughs> spare codes that I've got from bundles over there. Because, <laughs> you know, I just can't, I'm not a bundle trader. If I've got a duplicate code, it's just been given away to someone. And often it's just dumped in the Discord for whoever wants it. So, reasons to go. And there's Gartic on Discord. I've got a Gartic for... And obviously on streams we do Gartic and Jackbox and all sorts. So yeah, come, connect everything, join in and let me know what you want to see going forward, what you enjoy. And yeah, if you want to support in any way, obviously supporting through Humble and things that you're going to buy anyway. <laughs> I appreciate if you include me for a bit of commission, obviously. And yeah, I'm not going to beg for money. I don't do all this begging for subs, begging for donations and all of that but if you do it is always very much appreciated uh, yes i hope you have a good time and i'll see you again soon it's 2022 so it's about time we updated we accidentally clicked enter it's about time we updated everything right <laughs> have a good year and hopefully it's better than last year take care and i'll see you soon